In this Civil 3D Basics video, let's talk about fields. Fields are text values that you can call attributes from other objects to have it annotate. As an example, on this screen, I have a square that's 208 feet by 208 feet. If anyone's ever done any land surveying, they know that that is approximately one acre. And rather than coming in here and labeling it, you know, I could choose this object, go to my properties, and get my area, write it down or remember it or copy it, or go to calculator here and divide it by 43560 and see that it's 0.99 acres, basically one acre. And then do M text, come in here and put one acre, whoops, one acre. Problem is, is if I take this and I change it, that's wrong. So let's put a dynamic field in that will keep track of it. I'm going to put an M text. And in my M text, you'll see up here that I have fields. So I'll choose field. And these are all of the built-in information that you can just pull. If I want it to pull something from an object, I will choose object. Use this picker to choose the object in which I want to look at. And here are some attributes or metadata that I can pull from it. So here's area. Here's a preview of what it's going to say. You can play with all kinds of things here. So let's do it just standard decimal and hit OK. And I'll just manually put square feet. So now if I take this and edit it, when I regen, that number updates. Okay. So another thing we can do, you can do math in these. So if I come down here and I put in another field, object, same object, it's coming in down here to format. You can apply a conversion factor. So what is one divided by four, three, five, six, zero. It's point, whatever that is. Put you back to standard. One divided by four, three, five, six, zero. The point zero, zero, four, zero, two, two, nine. If I come over here and I put point one, two, three, four, two, two, nine, and hit OK, and OK. And there's my measurement in acres. And it is dynamic. And we'll update as I change them. So, and I'm doing this all for some fields. I mean, for some objects. So you can see it, but it can also be used for civil objects. So if I come over here, I have a bunch of assemblies. And I want to know what these names are at a glance. So let's have let's add us a, a label to them. So rather than me clicking it, come up here, right curb ditch and M text and place it, I'll use field. So I'll just do this. I'll go to fields. I'll choose this object and I want to label the name. And I'll hit OK and there it is. Just that quick and that easy. Now if I change this name. It will update. Fields are very powerful to keep up with metadata. It can call multiple sources. You can, I change this to DWT here to show you an example. Whoa, open DWT files. Let's go to a border file or a sheet layout template real fast. In this template, there are several fields and you can see that fields are indicated by this gray. <clears throat> and if I double click this and then right click on this, I can go to edit field and I can see what it's pulling. So this field is actually pulling the sheet title 
from the sheet set manager and will automatically update it. So if I change the sheet set manager title, it would automatically update it here. Same thing for page number and date and scale. I mean, it's pretty powerful and you can pull a lot of data. So fields are very useful for objects that you want to be interactive, such as this. It's very useful for quickly annotating objects or getting metadata out so that you can see it. And it's even more useful for the interoperability of all the civil tools that you have going back and forth. Hopefully this is of some help. If you like this content, please click the like button and feel free to subscribe to get notifications when I post more.